So I've lived in Arizona for like four months and before I lived in Arizona, I lived in Oregon. The great thing about living in Oregon is it rains nine months out of the 12 months. So you don't have to worry about fashion or looking good at all. I have accumulated a lot of winter clothes that I probably will never wear ever again. This jacket is so warm. It's fur lined. I'm not going to need this in Los Angeles. So what do I do with it? Well, I've come up with a clever little decision. I'm going to put all of my winter clothes into these. Ugh. I'm very fortunate that my parents own this house. So even when I leave, uh, it will still be here. Forgot about these. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep these. See? Probably never gonna wear these. Maybe I should keep these. Maybe I should take these. Leave them? No, I should leave them. I'm gonna make a maybe pile. This is a sweater that I got from Macy's, and I love it, but it's so thick. Maybe there will be a cold day. Maybe pile. I've never worn this, and it's been in a bag for so long it kind of smells. I could wash it though. Maybe. 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 So I took a risk. I decided to cut my favorite pair of overalls into like a jorts situation and I was thinking if there's a cold day in LA because I don't want to be wasteful I could just reattach and then you know who is she I don't know I found a little friend and we're gonna go take him outside I'm just gonna put you right here one, two, three, be free. You have to go. Out into, there he goes. Bye-bye. Maybe that lizard will go on to raise a family of its own, have babies, and then that lizard's babies will have babies. It might have created an entire family, you know? It is Monday, it's Labor Day, so maybe the worst day I could have picked. I'm having corn dogs for breakfast. This morning, I moved last night because it's too hot to move during the day. And it was storming and raining, so it was all wet. So I put everything in the U-Haul last night at like three in the morning. And then I put the important stuff in my car today, like my computer, the stuff that I didn't want sitting in my car overnight. And now, time to go. Labor Day is just basically like a three-day weekend, but just making a whole holiday out of it. What even is that? Why don't... It's like they're making us celebrate just giving us a day off. Just give us a day off. You know, one of my favorite parts about the corn dog is when you get down to the stick. I don't know. It's crunchy and it's good. Crunch piece. You know, the best part about getting divorced is that you don't end up with anything. So, I didn't have that much stuff to move. It's kind of a silver lining situation. Not bad. Not bad. I'm moving to Los Angeles today, and then Barry and Nan will be there in like a week. This is kind of the weird thing. I haven't told very many people this. I actually haven't been to this house yet. Barry and Nan Jay went and looked at it and they loved it. So I'm kind of just going on good faith. So I've never been there. Time to get on the road. It's about one o'clock, about you know, two hours later than I hoped to leave. And it's hot as shit. It's hot as shit. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, it's me, Mario. Let's go. And let's move uh, to uh, Los Angeles. Uh, let's go.
why when you travel you just get so greasy. Like I'm not even do anything, I'm just sitting here. Just expressing all of this grease out of my body. I talked to the landlord on the phone. His name's Really nice guy. I was afraid that I was gonna get there too late, but he was chill with it. Night owl, party boy, late nighter. So I'm gonna roll up at like 7.30. My friend Glow is going to come help me unload my stuff. The amount of water I've drank and the little pee that has come out of my body is concerning. I'm like a dried up raisin. I'm so dehydrated. I'm so hungry. When I get hungry, I get mean too. God, watch out. You guys think PMS is bad? Try me not eating anything but two corn dogs at like 10 a.m. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm in shambles, clearly. I'm doing well. I'm so bored. Okay, let's play a game. We can play I Spy. I Spy, something that is 125 pounds and about to have a full f***ing meltdown because they're hungry and tired. Me? What would you think that? Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. unloaded everything and we're sweaty. It's so hot here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look. Look at all of the things. So <laughs> give us the rundown. <laughs> the back sweat. Okay, you didn't help at all. Not even a little bit. I've got a battle wound. This is my bed also. I know that you can't see it underneath all the stuff. You know what? I'm probably gonna sleep in the living room tonight because like a bird, I will create a nest and then I'll um, sleep in that nest like an eagle. I don't think eagles sleep like this. Good morning. I moved in last night. Ugh. It went well, it's so hot here. Right now it's almost noon and it's 91, which is really not even that bad. Um, I think yesterday it was like 113. It was fine sleeping here, like the house was a little bit hot because the AC was off all day, but this is my room. So you can see, it's very exciting. This is the bachelorette pad. So today the plan is to go to get a router so that I can have internet. I swear to God, if this internet is not good, I'm going to not actually. I share the wall with the, uh, like the president of the HOA or like the association of the building. Like basically she just like makes the rules and stuff. So that's good. I'm gonna get myself some coffee, and then I'm gonna go get the internet box. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I have to go get groceries. I wonder what Tom Hanks is doing right now. Hmm. We're gonna go scan our surroundings. Get a feel for what our environment looks like. Are there any apex predators? I think there's an online database I can check for that. Also, on the flip side, any really great restaurants? Also, who's to say that Tom Hanks isn't just gonna be walking around out there? So, it'd be really nice to see him and I have a couple questions. Fit check. I've got um, this green shirt that I kinda like because it does this, which I think is unique and different. 
Um, I've got these shorts that I got from Goodwill. They're nice, they fit well. Um, my hair is styled with water. Ooh. LA, baby. I'm very broke now. I'm eating chicken and veggies every night for dinner. We're gonna just uh, take it easy. Take it easy. We're gonna take it easy today. But we're not gonna take it easy because I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go drive and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put everything in my room. I'm gonna put my room together. Take it easy. Maybe tomorrow. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never lack those. Hi, can I get a hamburger that's just plain with only onions? It's a perfectly good way to ruin a burger. This is upsetting. No. Fuck. The weird thing about driving in LA, I'm having a real hard time conceptualizing that something that's in the same city can be an hour and a half away. That That's weird to me. But secondly, why is it so dark? It's just a toss-up when you leave. Like, if you want to get somewhere in 30 minutes, you got to leave like seven to 10 business days ago. Like, how do people have appointments? You just spend half the day going to where your appointment is and then just hanging out? I stopped at a Trader Joe's. I've never grocery shopped at Trader Joe's before. I've seen a Trader Joe's. I'm not saying that I'm shopping at Trader Joe's because I live in California. That's cringe, but I've never shopped at a Trader Joe's before and I want to try it because they have these really yummy little uh, peanut butter crackers. It's like he thinks I'm crazy. They have these little tiny peanut butter crackers that are really tasty. They also have these candy bars that are chocolate with Dr. Speculoos peanut cookie butter inside. All right, let's go. Okay, so I went and got groceries. Yay! But I've run into a bit of a problem, and I did not foresee this being a problem. I got oatmeal, chicken, eggs. I got a whole bunch of foods, delicious foods, that I can make myself for dinner. I do have an air fryer, which God bless air fryer gods. Thank you for give this gift is literally all you do is you like plop something in this baby, turn it on, and it cooks it perfectly. It's there is no need for modern technology. We have surpassed that. This is the future. Anyways, point aside, I bought all of these great foods. They did not have the peanut butter crackers. And while we mourn the loss of those delicious, sweet peanut butter crackers, we can also take time to acknowledge the fact that I don't have any fucking silverware. I don't have silverware, I don't have bowls, I don't have plates, I don't have spoons, I don't have knives, I don't have a cutting board. So, tonight I'm gonna make chicken and vegetables in my air fryer. What am I gonna do, eat it off of a napkin? Just eat it straight out of the air fryer? I don't even have a fork, I'm just pick it up with my fingers. Like I understood that I like didn't have stuff. I just, am, I'm coming up with a list of like all these things I have to buy. Like I got out of the shower and I needed a bath mat. I don't even have a mirror. I don't even own one coffee mug. I don't own a couch. I'm gonna take all this stuff up into my room and then the house is just gonna be empty. I understand that like your 20s are supposed to be like this, <laughs> but I feel like at 27, it shouldn't be like this, this much. When I moved out of my parents' house when I was 19, I moved in with my boyfriend. And I shared a room with somebody until four months ago. I've never had my own bedroom before. And like the idea of that is so weird to me. And I'm, you know, I'm so excited. Like, I feel like an 18 year old kid. Like I have my, my own bedroom, I have my own room. Or the fact that I like don't live in my parents' house and I don't have to like, report to anybody, you know? I can just go do something. I don't even have to tell anybody that I'm doing it. 
Um, and it's like all these things that are like exciting when you're 18, you move out and you have this like freedom. And, and I have that now, which is cool. I mean, it's cool, it still feels fun, but I, th I feel like I'm doing everything backwards. I set up the internet, it pretty much worked right off the bat. Everything was gonna fall apart, you know? Like that was the that was the bone that was thrown and then it's all gonna but the internet's good. So we are living in the year 2022, finally. So now I'm gonna set up my room and get everything exactly where I want it to be. I wish I could tell you that I have a, a big bed that's gonna be brought in, but I don't. That is gonna be my bed for the foreseeable future because I don't own a bed. But I have internet. <laughs> and I also have Trader Joe's red seedless grapes. You know what I don't have? Trader Joe's peanut butter crackers. I haven't had coffee yet today. That's a big one for me personally. Okay, so I went to the store and I got some plates. <sighs> but tonight I'm making my famous, and not world famous, famous within this house and all the people who live here dish. So I've got chicken, I've got green beans, olive oil, and I'm going to put that on the chicken. Tonight, I think I'm gonna take you south of the border and we're gonna try a little Trader Joe's Cuban style citrusy garlic. We're gonna, we're gonna toss some of that on there and then we're gonna also put it on the beans and then we're gonna throw that into the air fryer. Pretty simple. And then we're gonna let that baby sit for about 20 minutes on 450 degrees, probably a little less, maybe 15, and it'll be delicious. Is it kind of my post breakup go-to? Yes. Is it delicious every time? Yes. Do I have low standards for food? So it's probably not that great, but it gets the job done? Maybe. So I did a big thing. I got my computer desk set up, which is huge because this is where I live, in this chair. My butt has sat in this chair for so many hours, it is unfathomable, unfathomable, unfathomable. It's unbelievable. The reason why I don't own dishes or plates or forks or spoons is because of this. This is where all of my money has gone, into this setup. Which granted, this is where I make my money, so it's justified and I do write it off on my taxes. It still doesn't make me feel any better. I really want to spruce this up, make this look nice. If you guys have any ideas of what I can put in the background, please let me know like what you think would look great. Unless you really like the aesthetic of this white wall, in which case just type yes in the comment section. We all know what that means. It'll be like our little secret. That's what I've done today. And you know what? That's all I wanted to do today is set this up. This is my big accomplishment. So I'm happy I did it. There's still more to do. So by the time you're watching this, it will be set up. It is set up obviously because you're seeing me somewhere. I'm standing in this room. You're watching me at home or on the bus or what the, what are you doing right now? What are you eating? What are you snacking on? You know, this is kind of, this is a different format for me. This kind of like not live format. How are you? You've watched a significantly long video of me telling you how I am. Let's sit, let's chat. You know what? Let's level. Okay, we're gonna level right now. We're gonna sit in my closet. Let's just sit, it's just you and me. How was your day? What did you do today? I got this and I'm really excited about it and I feel like people are not talking about it enough. It is a case for my AirPods. It's a case for my AirPods and it's cute and I kept losing my AirPods but somehow having it be cute and small has made me lose it less. This is good, I like this. This is good for you, this is good for me. Tomorrow, my plan is to maybe get a couple more house things put away. And then, I wanna go do something fun. I haven't really done anything fun since I've lived in LA. I just wanna look up if there's maybe like a cute little like breakfast place that would be fun, somewhere that I can sit outside. That is my plan tomorrow. Wake up, 
go eat somewhere tasty, come back, get this all together. I love breakfast and I love having breakfast at like 2 p.m. because it really kind of establishes that I'm in control of this energy, you know? It's like I enjoy breakfast, but I'm going to have it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon because that's when I'm choosing to have it. I was kind of having a little bit of a meltdown. I, I went to make coffee this morning and I drank it out of a used Baja Blast cup. I washed it out. It was not, it was just, it was just like a low. You know what I mean? It was just kind of a low. I had a little bit of a meltdown, but then I came home and I had this in front of my door. This is Pete's coffee and it's from my mom. She's also sending me a coffee maker. So I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I think that I'm just feeling particularly alone. And it's weird because LA is so big. Like there's so many people here. So it's the idea of feeling alone in a place where there's actually millions of people around you is kind of weird. I'm having to kind of like relearn like who I am because I was attached to another person for so long and I kind of established my identity in correlation to somebody else and now i'm just me and i'm okay with that i'm i have no problems just being me but when every single like part of your life is in correlation with another person you start to lose your identity in a way you know it's like who am i without this other person and so now that's all i have you know and it kind of feels like I'm living with a stranger in a way, you know? It's like I, I like this person and I, I don't really recognize her a whole lot anymore. And I think that we have some catching up to do. Lucky for me, um, I have two really awesome roommates that are going to be here soon. So uh, now we wait.